right there. So basically we're going to split those two rollers, those two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we want to, um, these are your registration pins right here, reg pins. These are your pull down claws. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, so we and I couldn't get it to turn. So we move those. Now you push it in and turned so, it. Right, so we're getting those out, we're getting those back. I swear I just did that and it didn't move. And then we're gonna get the reg pins back. And so that will clear that will clear the film path. Okay, so then we could this is how you pull the gate. Those have to be back and the claws have to be back. Okay. In case you get a film jam or something, you're gonna to wanna to pull the gate or you get something in there. This is the bottom lock and this is the top lock. Were you a camera assistant, Jeff? Um, no. But I, I go out in, in like a, a tech okay. on all the big jobs. Okay, so we're going to come around there, like just like the diagram, through there, and then under that loop. So we're going to go under that one, and then over that one, over that one, this one right here. Okay. So you usually start from the, the bottom one first? That's about the top one, or it doesn't matter? Um, it doesn't matter. Okay, like I said, these have to be back or you're not going to be able to get the film in, okay? So once I get in there, check the loops. Right, we're going to set our loop. Okay, so once once I'm in there, like, like this, now we have to set our loop. Okay, so you have this pin right here. See that pin? That's mm -hmm. your index pin, okay? So you're going to get, with your finger, you're going to find a perf and just pop the, the perf in that index pin, okay? And then you want, want to make sure the bottom's in. You want to make sure the bottom's not like that when you do it. Okay, you always want to make sure the bottom's in. Okay, so as soon as you find a perf with your finger, get it in there, and then boom. Then just pop that in there. Once you pop that in there, now you can set your loop, okay? So we're going to come a little bit off that pin and then lock the sprocket down. Okay, so I'm going to put the claw at the top. And I'm going to measure the top. Claw at the top, and I'm hitting the pin, see? So I'm going to take, I'm going to come a little bit off the pin, just enough where I'm not hitting it, okay? So now we're going to check the bottom. Okay, you can only measure the bottom when the stroke is at the bottom, and you can only measure the top when the stroke is at the top. That's important, or you won't get a good reading. Okay, so the rule is you want the biggest loop possible without, without hitting the floor and without hitting that pin, okay? So we could go like a little bit more on the bottom there. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm just gonna go one perf and then lock it back down. Okay, so now I'm gonna inch it. Top, I'm just missing the pin, which is what we want. Bottom, we're just missing the bottom. And then so I'm gonna make sure these are both locked down. Nope. Down the area, you also have a one button that just moves in a frame. Right, I remember it does. I remember that. Yeah, our newer cameras have an inching button inside the, the, right. the body. This is sort of an old one. And then this is your pitch knob. This will pitch. So you get a nice. Nice smooth sound, which is right there. And then you have to move it three times a day mm -hmm. or twice a day. Um, depending on how much film you're you're running through it, yeah. And there's two lubricants: there's oil and there's silicone. Right. 